Hi everyone, my name is Mercedes. I'm one of the trainers at Fitball Training, and we are going to start our mobility workout. Um, so you can use this workout when you have an off day, a day that you're not actually training, doing one of our other amazing classes. Um, so you can use this as a chill cool down day just to keep your body moving, but you're not actually like full on using all of your energy. You're just keeping your muscles and your joints all warmed up for your next workout. So let's get started. I want to take one big deep breath in. So fill your lungs up with air, all that you can, and then we're going to let it all go. Squeeze all the air out, and then we're going to do that one more time. So let's go. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. All right. So let's start. We're going to tilt our head to the side. Try to keep your shoulders down. Don't lift them up. Try to go to the side. Keep them down. And just tilt your head so you feel the stretch right here in your neck. Take a deep breath in. Switch sides. Switch sides. Switch. We're going to do the same thing, except this time you're going to grab your head with your hand, pull it to that same side, and you're going to tilt your face up just a little bit, and take a deep breath here. And release it. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Slightly tilt your face up. And release. We're going to look down. Again, try to keep your body straight, shoulders up. You don't want to start rounding your back. All you're doing is tilting your head forward. Deep breath. And tilt your head back. And forward. And back. One more time to the front. And back. All right, we're going to come to a full head circle. So we're going to go to the left side all the way around. Again, keeping your shoulders down away from your ears. And switch sides or switch directions. All right. So now we're just going to twist our wrist at one angle. Switch directions for both. And 
and switch angles, switch direction of your wrist. And switch it again. Interesting. Cracking. It's okay. <laughs> All right. So we're going to bring our knee up to as high as you can go. Try to keep your shoulders back, engage your core, and you want to squeeze the standing leg. So bring your knee up. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bring your knee down and switch sides. Inhale. Exhale. And switch sides. Switch. One more time on each side. Last side. All right. So now we're going to take our hands, palms facing us. We're going to interlock our fingers. Pull a little apart. Take a deep breath in. You're going to feel that stretch in your biceps, in your chest, shoulders. Exhale, and let it drop. Inhale. And pull your fingers apart without actually pulling them apart. One more time. And let it go. We're going to stand no more than shoulder width apart. You're going to bring one hand up, one hand down on your side. Reach down as far as you can. And you're going to come up and switch sides. You should feel that stretch right here on your side. Keep switching. Try not to shift forward or back when you in line with your legs, with your body. We're going to go one more time on each side. All right. So keeping our feet in this position. I want you to take a deep breath in. Exhale, we're just gonna reach down to the floor. If you can't touch the floor, that's okay. As far down as you can go, try to keep your legs straight. Take a deep breath here. Exhale and come up slowly. Again, deep breath in. Exhale and come down. Try to push a little more into that stretch. Inhale. Exhale, slowly come up. Last time we're going down. Inhale. Exhale, come down. All right, in this position, we're gonna bring our butt down into a deep squat. You might need to adjust your feet position. You're going to come down and then press back up. Don't come to standing. You're just bringing your butt back up and then back down. So with each time you come down, try to lift your chest up a little more as you get more warmed up. And keep Breathing. Feel this in your hips. Go for two more. Last one. We're going to stay in this position. You're going to grab onto your left foot, your right arm 
reaching up. Back down, grab your right foot, switch sides. Last time on each side, try to keep your chest up. All right, press your foot back up. We're slowly going to come to standing. All right, come to the end of your mat. Feet shoulder width apart. We're going to come down. Try to touch your toes. If you can't, that's okay. You can bend your knees if you need to. You're going to walk out into a plank. You're going to walk back to your feet. You're not going to come to standing though. I want you to come as close to, to your legs and feet as you can. I want you to feel that stretch in your hamstrings. You should feel it right here in this position. Hold it for a second before you walk out again. And back. All right, we're gonna walk into a plank. From here, you're bringing your right leg forward, coming into a pigeon pose. Try to sit up as straight as you can. I want you to walk over to the left side. Take a deep breath. And then walk over to the right. Deep breath in. Come back to center. Deep breath. On the exhale, let's lower ourselves down to the mat. And two deep breaths here. We're going to slowly walk up. Come prop yourself up onto your toes in the back leg. You're going to come back into a plank, switch sides. You're going to do the same thing on this side. Come up to a seated upright as you can. We're going to start on the left. Deep breath in. Walk over to the right. And come to center. Deep breath in. And come down. Remember two deep breaths here. When you come back into a plank, walk your hands down into a downward dog. Deep breath here. From here, let's come into tabletop position. We're going to bring our head under and through and then come up. Try to make a straight line with your arm. Come back down. And up. 
this three more times. Keep breathing. Two. And one. Switch sides. Three more. Last one. All right. So we're going to bring our right knee up. Your leg should be in a 90 degree angle for both. Without shifting your knee forward, you can have your hand there just as like a guide. Here, I want you to push your hips in, tilt them forward. And then back, forward, and back, just like that, without shifting your knee forward. It's all in your hips. You're going to feel that right here. We're going to do five, four, three. Two and one. Switch sides. Same thing on this one. Let's go. Two more, and rest. We're gonna come to a kneeling position, shift to the front of your mat. You can have your knees like shoulder width apart. I want you to sit down either on the inside of your feet or you can sit on them, whatever that's comfortable for you. You're gonna lean back, take a deep breath in, on the exhale, if you can go a little lower, go lower. So come to your forearms. Take a deep breath in. If you can go lower than that, you're just going to lay down. Take a deep breath here, whatever position you're in. Two long deep breaths. Now slowly, if you're laying down on the floor, prop yourself up onto your elbows. Take a deep breath here. Come up onto your hands. Another deep breath. And come to a seated. We're going to shift our legs in front of us. Feet width of the mat. We're going to bring our knees over to the left side, trying to get both knees to touch the floor. If you don't, that's okay. You're going to feel this in your hips. Switch sides. Switch. Switch. Switch one more time. All 
right. We're gonna flip over onto our stomachs. Hands straight up to your sides. You're gonna take your left foot and you're gonna try to reach your right hand. Then you're gonna come over as far as you can go and try to touch your hand. Come back and then switch sides. It looks really weird, <laughs> but it feels really nice. <laughs> And switch. Last time on each side. Come back to center. Let's come into an upward row. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's come to seated. Let's take two last long deep breaths. Fill a little bit of your there and then squeeze it all out. We're going to do it twice. Three, two, one. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And we are done. Good job, ladies. I hope this was relaxing and you feel really good because <laughs> I'm very relaxing. <laughs> and my body feels good, feels so good. Enjoy all the workouts and classes and stick to the challenge. You guys can do it. We're all going to do it. We're all in it together. Do it for you. You show yourself what you can do. You guys are awesome. 